Hi, Cody. This is Coach Smart from ABC Baseball Camps. Here to do your hitting video analysis. We're going to talk about five different things today, Cody. We're going to talk about your setup, your swing plane, your position at contact, how you get your lower half involved in the swing, and your finish. So let's start with your setup. Very good there, good parallel stance. Both feet at approximately the same angle. Hitting's all about angles, Cody. That's a pretty good angle there. Nice wide base, that's good. Hands up high enough to create a downhill plane to your, to your swing plane. So that's good. Let's see what happens when you stride. Okay, so you go from a good parallel stance where you were before, right here. It's hard to tell because of the shade of your body. But it looks like you open up a little bit. Okay, try to make sure that when you stride, that you stride straight and both your feet are still parallel. Okay. Okay, your head stays pretty quiet. Good. Okay, let's check your uh, swing plane now. Okay, nothing wrong with your swing plane. That looks pretty good. Okay, you go down at uh, a uh, downward angle from your load position, and then you get uh, flat right through here. Where you're supposed to be right through the contact point. That's very good. Okay, so our next step is to check your position of contact and check your angles out. And that's pretty darn good right there. That's a pretty gar darn good angle. Be better if I could draw better. <clears throat> that's good. This is good. That's good. Our head slot right behind the barrel. This angle's pretty good. Actually very good. And this angle's pretty good. Okay, so those are all good things, bud. Uh, the only angle that I don't like is your front foot. Your front foot is opened up a little bit. It's not too bad. You can get away with that. You know, the more square you are, the better off you are, as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, but not too bad there. I'm not going to complain too much about that, buddy. Um, so, from a position of contact, you do a pretty good job there. That's pretty good. Let's get rid of some lines. Going to talk about your lower half now. Okay. So. Long, I'll make sure we're on the same page, Cody. Your lower half, the way we get our lower half involved is by driving this knee down to the inside of that front foot. Okay? That's, that's how you drive and get down the baseball. Right there. Okay? So we want to make sure that when you do that, you're doing it hard enough to create some resi re resistance. Let's see. I'm going to take it back a little bit. And let's see what that front foot does here. Okay, you see it's starting to peak a little bit here? That means you're probably pushing hard enough. You're doing a good job of your lower half. You're getting your lower half involved, okay? I guess there is one angle that I don't like your position of contact, and that's your chest, which I can't even see right now, okay? At the point of contact, Cody, your chest should be like right there. Okay? Make sure that you're not rotating your upper body onto the baseball. That you're taking your hands to the baseball. Not your upper body to the baseball. Okay? From this position right here at your position of contact, how could you hit a ball in the outside half? 
when you're facing the pitcher right now. Okay, so you gotta remember your goal is to stay square as long as you can to home plate. Okay, we'll take you through your swing. Okay, okay, you're square now. You're square now. You're okay there. You're okay there. You're on the verge of being in trouble, and now you're now you're too far. Okay. So you, what you got to try to do, buddy, is you got to try to swing with your hands more. Okay, a good drill for that is called a dead legs drill, where you just widen your stance up, you keep your both feet on the ground, no stride, hitting off a tee, and you just use your hands to hit. You don't upper, you don't rotate your body at all. And that would be a, a good drill for you to do to learn how to use your hands a little better. Let's look at your finish. Okay, so your finish kind of goes around your body, okay? It goes in this kind of, a, of an arc. It kind of goes here and around. What I'd like to see it, what I'd like to see it do is do this. Extension to here and then straight up and over your shoulder on the other side of your helmet. Okay? Big difference between the two. Your hands finish towards left field, your pull side, and I want you to have your hands going towards center field so that when you get to the top of your finish, the knob of your bat's actually facing back out towards the pitcher and not towards left field. Okay? When you look at your swing, as good as you are right here, okay, got to stay on that foot. Don't let that foot go to the ground. Stay right there all the way through your swing. Don't let that foot go back down to the ground. Okay. So that dead leg swing, I was talking about that drill, you can do that via T or via soft toss. Via T or via soft toss. Okay. Okay, bud. Uh, again, look forward to having fun, had fun working with you this week and uh, look forward to seeing you at another ABC baseball camp. Thanks, buddy.